probabilistic uh, misery vultures. Um, so, um, I've been looking at this some more, and while this composition is reasonable, one thing it lacks is a nice long range sniper. Um, namely, Battlefig. Unfortunately, he's in the sick bay for three more days. I think it's probably worth trying to get him on this mission, maybe instead of one of the Grenadiers. Let's see. Um, yeah, I'm just not sure. I mean, it might be that we don't actually need a medic that would be nice to level Sharon up a bit more. Let's we'll see, but I think I'm going to see if I can get away with... Um, do I need to do anything? No, I did all this. Um, I'm just going to carry on. Let's try and get three days past without uh, something terrible happening that distracts us. So, we can't make any more contact. For a start, Avenger plotting new course. we can head to the black market and uh, see what we can see there. Obviously, we're only going to be selling stuff, but... The market is open. Uh, there's nothing particularly jumping out at me here. Um, don't need that. Um, well, I don't know. Let me just have a quick look and see if we need anything. Anything just give building. The and I'll get started, Commander. Da, 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 da. Ah, yes, we need more mimic beacons. That was one thing we did need. A second mimic beacon would be quite, quite advantageous. And there's really no reason not to have one because we've got a lot of empty space at the moment. Tell me something, Doctor. Must have been pretty cushy working with Advent, living in the colonies. So why the sudden change of heart? Like most people, I wanted to believe that the aliens were legitimately interested in peace. Although they left me little choice when it came to working with them, I admit, I was drawn to the sense of normalcy they offered. It was a mistake. You should have known better. The aliens would never have come here if they wanted peace. As I said, it was a mistake. One I hope to atone for through my efforts with XCOM. Then I'd say you've got your work cut out for you. Wow. It's, uh... Lily's... Lily's cold. Um... The market is open. So, yeah. Could do with making 85 more space bucks. Uh... Don't need... Those. Don't need as many of these. Cut everything down to about 5, then I'll feel reasonably safe about it. Um, yeah, screw it, that'll do. Uh, I don't think we need that laser sight either. Um, so, yeah, that's reasonable. Let's get another Mimic Beacon in the mix. Hello, Commander. Sorry for all the housekeeping at the start of this episode, but, you know, necessary evils. Um, just never really thought mine shields were worth a spot, to be honest. Um, 25 smoke. Yeah. Smoke might be worth picking up, actually. I'll free up five supplies. Back we go. Sorry. Now we have this sudden abundance of uh, inventory space. It makes sense to uh, actually fill it with something. Uh, I think we need sector of boxes. What can I do for you, Commander? Yeah, I think this smoke grenade is worth having. Uh, now in XCOM 1 those last for two turns division, but I'm not sure if it's the same, I can't remember. Oh god, confusing mixing up of the two games is not good. Uh, we'll just get a bit of intel. 
I do plan on doing this uh, the Alien Hunters DLC mission at some point, but we are not ready. I know what's on that mission. We are not prepared. Okay. Uh, retaliation counters going on. Uh, damn it. Okay, well, looks like we're getting distracted. Supply raid instead of the hitting the forge, but that's fine. Um, we could do with the supplies, to be honest. How far off were we? It's like a day. Yeah, son of a bitch. Um, okay. Uh, we will make the best of this. Um, very difficult. This is going to be a lot of heat on this mission. Um, I will make a quick cut and sort out the composition for the supply raid. Okay, I think that'll just about do it. Uh, so, um, I have gone with flashbang, smoke, double grenade, uh, flashbang, mimic, beacon, double grenade, mimic, beacon, grenade, and you can see the rest. Um, so, we've got a lot of gizmos going on now, which is nice. Um, only other change I've made is Dicularius, uh, his weapon. Giggity giggity, I have replaced what was um, a, an extended magazine, giving one extra shot uh, with an advanced stock, so I've sort of kept him and off message relatively consistent in both of stocks, so if they miss, they do free damage, but this is an advanced stock, so if Degularius misses, he still build, deals two damage, um, which, uh, if memory serves, I don't know if that even, I think that bypasses armor. Um, same kind of deal on off message. He has hair trigger stock, and uh, Tegularius has hair trigger and gun stock, so that's all I'm happy. Um, yeah, I think that's uh, good enough for me to launch with now. I still need a scope for Sharon's rifle. Annoyingly, I haven't found one. I'm not buying one with Intel because it's strapped. Sky Ranger deployed. In position to drop. We're targeting an advent troop transport that resistance forces managed to disable in this region. The aliens aren't expecting to see us, so this is our chance to seize whatever technology they've got on board that thing. We're expecting heavy resistance at the site. Move in and neutralize all hostile contacts and secure the area. Alright, so another straightforward supply raid. Uh, there's no time limit on these missions, so we can uh, play close to the chest. Menace 1-5, the advent troop transport is nearby. Engage and eliminate all hostile forces. Oh, how I wish we had a uh, sniper on this mission, because I could just creep forward with Joe the Doe, set up a nice trap. But sadly, we're going to have to Closing on target position now. do it the old-fashioned way. This thing looks ready to smash something. Is that an environment suit? Maybe something that can't handle our atmosphere? Those emissions could be toxic. I advise caution, Commander. Yeah, Andromedons are a fucker to deal with. Um, however, we shred pretty good these days, so... Let's just get in there. Roger that. Our shredding crew. On the move. Orders confirmed. Moving out. Joe the Doe's positioning. Forces spotted. Joe the Doe's positioning doesn't really matter as much as the others because he has Phantom. Uh, so he's uh, uh, not revealed when the squad is, obviously. So I'm just using him for scouting uh, for now. Uh, he's probably not going to engage with the bulk of the group. Uh, okay. Sharon up to there. Tom Gies can chill here. Affirmative. Got it covered. And we wait and see what they do. Apart from smash down on the trees. That was a little closer to a reveal than I would have liked. Hmm, 
Okay. That other group is still within engagement range, so we need to rotate the squad. However, <laughs> the squad is uh, in a bit of a pickle. They're a bit tied down right now. I'm not sure where I can put Sharon that isn't crap. Um, I probably need to shift the group around a bit. Oh, Sharon's just got nowhere to go. That's uh, a pickle. She could sit here for a turn. And then dish out uh, an aid protocol or something. She has to move Rolling. before this engagement occurs, basically. Um, taking Iris as cereal, which is a big deal. Slightly baffled as to why I can't get a combat protocol on that Andromedon, never mind. Um, yeah. yeah. He doesn't have line of sight, which is weird. Um, just try and get a shred off, but 66% isn't exactly grand, is it? Um, 6 to 8 versus 4 to 5, but it's guaranteed. Hmm. There's no time limit, so I'm actually just going to wait. I don't like our chances of dealing with this safely. So we're going to move on. I might shadow this pod. Now this pod's just determined to uh, get a piece of us, so I guess we have to deal with these idiots first. And that's the reveal. Fuck. Well, it's on. Execute. Into murder eight. Okay, that's a good opening. We do still have the problem of the Andromedon though. How about that? Because it's in contact. Shred on. Push more damage through, that's good. Okay, now, if we kill this Andromedon, it's going to come back to life as a robotic unit, which means we can combat protocol it effectively or haywire it, shut it down, whatever. So, uh, let's get to work on that problem. Uh, take Lyra as cereal, so I'm going to leave him up for a while. Um, off message is probably just going to be chucking grenades, so he can pull back a bit here. Um, actually, um, Yeah, Sharon needs to relocate. Sure thing. Fifty-five, forty-five. Nothing inspiring. I think. Ah, of course Sharon doesn't have threat assessment, so a protocol not as exciting. Um. Let's take our 50-50 on the sec though and see if we can set it up for grenade kill. Nah. Okay. That's fine. Not even close! Um Let's get off message in there. Sure thing. Uh no, oh, 
I should have done this first, I'm an imbecile. This is what happens when you don't fucking take your time. Um, right, let's blow it. Grenade. Should have done this first, and then Sharon could have taken a shot without cover being a problem. What Joe did do, can show up in an emergency with run and gun, but I don't think we need to deal with it yet. Um, I'm going to serial. I'm going to get up in their faces. Very nice. Solid hit. Negative ammo. I'm However, a Joe the Doe is involved. Um, I can hear a turret, so I don't want to get too far over this way. We are just actually going to get as close as possible. Double time. Because I can't afford to miss this, really. Eighty percent. 89. Ugh. Uh, fuck it. Okay, there it is. Did you see that one? The saga is not we over. We all saw that thing go down. Now what the hell is it doing? So, a combat protocol would be effective but not effective enough. We need to shut it down. I mean, we could hack it and actually take control of this fucking thing, but uh, I doubt my rods would be acceptable. Yeah, no, we're just gonna stun it. Oof, barely. Okay, shut it down. And then we can dispose of this toxic hazard at our leisure. I'm in! Ah, fuck. Okay. More problems. It's another mech. I've got eyes on an advanced position! Tomlet. The mech is not a concern. Tom BS can one shot that with combat protocol, I think. Or close anyway. Okay. Uh right. This is a bit scary. Um, oh, how does he not have shots on that? Fuck. Okay. Um, so I can't combat protocol this mech, so I have to fan everyone out basically to avoid the rocket strike. Um, I want to use Sharon's aid protocol before we do anything crazy in that department. Smoke grenade might be a good call. That relies on a certain amount of bunching, so they just rocket us. Yeah. Okay, Joe the Doe has a serial, of course. Uh, or we could frost bomb this down and just deal with these twats. I think it's kind of wasteful to use the frost bomb on this problem. Um. Houses. I don't know. Um, I think we fan out and take some cover and just deal with this problem. Um, it's probably merits the axe attack though. Joe the Doe, of course. Um, hmm. Does he get untouchable? If he. Technically, he killed that, so I guess he gets untouchable. But I can't really be sure. Uh, well, we're about to find out. Um, possibly, anyway. Uh, fuck. Um, 
get rid of some cover and shred some stuff. If I reposition off message. So about there we do it. Yeah. Each. Um We've got two mimic beacons, I could use one of those. He's got the second one. Done the S? No, yes, done the S. Hmm. God, I don't really know how to prioritize targets in this situation. I reckon Joe the Doe here and go for a cereal. Alright, fuck it. Heading out. Get rid of their covers. That's pretty good. Um, just don't think we have to fire power to deal with uh, this Andromeda on this turn. I think we have to frost bomb it. Ah, oh, I don't know. It just seems so wasteful. Um, shoot. What okay. else have you got? Rocking cereal. I'm going. Um, you know that was good. On reserves. Now, if I do this, that would shred down the mech and make that officer easily serializable. Um, not sure that we could serial the mech though. Maybe I shift positions and do that. The mech can only melee, so you've Joe the dough in its path. You can blade storm it, and he has untouchable. I'm just Pretty sure he has untouchable. We'll find out. Um, Let's move already. I don't want to waste the frost bomb yet. I have a feeling we're gonna need it. So here we go. Move. Okay. Uh, let's take our eighty-two. Some loot. Not too shabby. Now we take our first free reload. Got no ammo. It's killing time. Now, what does the damage count say? Six to eight. That is seven hit points, so we might fail that. We can guarantee it with an axe. Well, nearly guarantee it. Um we space have run out though. No, maybe it's just worth moving Tom DS out to engage that mech. I can't quite do it. I don't need to worry about bunching if I take the mech out, so I could move Tom DS to like here and engage it. How's his throwing arm, Tom DS? Okay, not nearly good enough for this. Um, oh, screw it. We'll just move out in combat protocol, that's what it's for. I'll go. Yeah, drop him. 
728, it has 7 hit points. It's a nice fit. Okay. Sharon can give, I don't know, a protocol to someone on the off chance. It's not even any point. Save it. Uh, tell you what, we'll give a protocol to Joe the Doe just in case his untouchable has in fact not been triggered. I think it must have been. But uh, we'll see. And we'll take a free pot shot. Who knows it might execute. No. Okay. Weapons burning ammo fast. Uh, might as well take a shot. Okay. Uh, I accelerate with Joe the Doe. Oh fuck me, really? Fun never ends. Pulling back from that. Yep, okay. Let's play storm. And attempt to melee. Untouchable, okay, so that does work. Good. So that's why Untouchable is an amazing ability. Oh, you killed something? Oh, uh, yeah, you can't be hurt by the first attack on you. Like, what the fuck, that's amazing. And um, what's less great is this Newton situation. Um, I don't have time to reload Picularius, and I need that loot. So, yeah, he might do some mad dashing. And frag down these idiots' cover. Slightly concerned about what I might run into, but I've already got so much on my plate. This local area must be reasonably clean, he says, running into a turret. I forgot about the turret that I heard earlier. Okay. Uh, might just have to eat some rounds. Sorry. Um, yeah, blow this all to hell. Grenade out! We'll try and get Tegularis out of his turret pickle. Shred that shit down, get rid of some health, get rid of some armor, get rid of all the cover, and... Could axe that Viper a question, um, I don't know. Um, have to run through this toxic shit if we want to do any milleying, so that's not great. Um, Sharon needs to move up. Absolutely. Can Sharon make a decision for me about what I'm doing here? 75 on the snake. God damn that 75. Adjusting aim. Yeah, um, that's not no great. Rounds. Wheel. We can flashbang. Um. I think, therefore, we can axe this. Oh, it's dodge graze. God, that snake's getting lucky. Um, okay, you know what? That's fine. Um, we'll just pull back and deal with these problems. Seems doable. One at a time. Um, well, how about that? So, off message. Um, that muton has a grenade, so I don't want a bunch. Uh, so, pull back about five tiles. So I think that's fine. Guaranteed kill. Oh no, it's not. I only do one on a mess with off message, two with Tecularius. So, so, I mean, I'd probably kill it, but you know. Um, no, I think we'll pull back and flash. Absolutely. Um, I 
Get ready for a surprise. Okay. Now, it's on the S. Uh, there's a bit out of cover options here. He gets here, but I don't know if he has a haywire on the turret if he does that. But that's like the only lateral cover there is against these schmucks. So... Actually, you know what? He should be fine to just pull back to here. He should I'm still have the haywire. Here. I'm convinced. Convince? Yes! Okay. Um, so, let's haywire that turret down. Seizing control! Steal it. 51, not worth the risk. Shut it down. Ugh. We weren't desperate, so it wasn't worth faffing it up and giving it uh, bonuses to then shoot and flank Tegularius with. Tempting as it was. Untouchable. Whoa! Untouchable is an amazing skill. Uh, and this one can hit. So of course, it's da -da 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 -da. it's hit through full cover, crit through full cover even. Um, fuck me, I hate that shit so much. Um, yeah. Um well, he's gonna be in the sick bay for a while. Sharon is bingo ammo. Uh maybe I just double heal Joe. Or maybe I go for the kill. Ah oh, shoot, if I need to if I get this loot I'm sprinting for it, which means I have to kill everything this turn. Um Sixty-five with a seventy-four to crit. If I march out to the open and kill this thing, the viper can't hurt me anyway. I can handle that. Because of untouchable. Okay, this seems very sketchy, but it's totally safe. There's almost no Did way this could go one? wrong. <laughs> um, ammo fast. Almost no way. Um, okay. So, I need to get that loot. Go, go, go! Please don't trigger anything, please don't trigger anything. Okay, it's fine. Superior auto loader, interesting. Why am I on cargo duty? Um. The houses. Okay, get a reload in. Oh no, I could have just Reloading. run up and fragged it. Oh fuck. I can't do it now. I'm an idiot. And I missed. Oh well. That is not good. That is not good. Um, but that is a battle on another front that I can't deal with right now. So... She should go for a uh, thingy anyway. Um, damn, he's still in turret range. Okay. Um... Combat protocol, please roll an 8. Please roll an 8. God damn your 7. Damn your 7 straight to hell. Um, okay. On my way. New plan. put a Mimic Beacon somewhere that is in range of everything. I think that's in range of everything. 
we'll find out. Okay. Yep. God, they make beacons are great. Yep. And you didn't even kill it. Okay, well you just had to get the last word in, didn't you? Okay. Um yeah, good move, aliens. Good move. Um, you got me. Right. Heading out. Now, can we just kill this thing now? Seventy percent. Sharon, you're just you're not just good. not doing it today. Um. Okay. Well, I did try to give you some experience, but you just don't want it. Really? Is this happening? This is happening. Um. Okay. Uh. That's bad. I guess that'll be okay. I mean, it's fine. It's just annoying because I have a f grenade. So, yeah. I see ya. Tom DS to the rescue. Jesus. Right now. War on two fronts uh, continues. Uh, oh, it, it doesn't really matter. Um, Heading out. Oh shit! I thought he had shot from there. Okay, he didn't. Right. Well, I'll just move Tikularis out of range then. Let's do this. And reload. And reload. And Ready wait for go. the really long animations before the turn ends. We're green to go. Okay. Uh, let's move you in a bit. Sure thing. And kill it. That's how it's done. All right. Uh, so that got a bit frantic. I'm ready. Yeah, I still had a free reload. I'm going. Oh well. Um. Sure thing. Let's get some heals going and try and get into vaguely sensible positions. Get them the heals. If you say so. We've still got another mode beacon, and I'm fairly sure there's only going to be like one pod left. We shall get scanning for it in a moment. On my way. Seems doable. Uh, yeah. Ready to engage. I'm on it. It's scanning time. Okay. We are back to strength and in position again, so let's throw out a scan. Whole lot of nothing, huh? Just absolutely nothing. Okay, um, looks like we're pushing up then. Not a problem. Okay. Uh, let's move already. Let's get back into a column. I'm trusting you here. No need to ask twice. Absolutely. I'm on the watch. Heading out. And there they are. Ooh. Okay. There's another pod right behind them. No, it's the same pod. Okay, that's just a big, big old pod. Of uh, sectoids and mutons. Okay, um, that's a bit unpleasant. Let's pull it back. Sure thing. Uh, and 
get a flashbang in there, probably. Mm, we'll smoke up to start with. Because I might need to use that flashbang to break a set code effect. Um, hum, 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 hum. Okay. Let's get Joe the Doe in a flank ready position. Will do. Um Now, a medic. Hmm. Cover isn't great. Probably just has to do. Um, okay, I'll go. Let's get Tom BS into this cover here. There's that muton. Could put a mimic beacon down range. in full cover except Sharon so she's gonna give us self aid protocol thank you Laris is gonna smoke up the squad which we haven't done before Take this. <laughs> yeah you show those squad mates who's boss with that smoke grenade helping them out um, and you know, aid protocol Tombius as well, because if that muton moves across, he's only in half cover. And we get a free overwatch out of it anyway. So, this threat assessment's amazing. Here they come. That's a solid miss. Shot failed to connect. Ooh, shooting at Joe. Oh my god, how is Joe alive? Also, how have they full fucking cover critted him twice in a row? I hate mutons. Oh boy. Oh. Whatever that was, it didn't work. Yeah, even if it succeeded, we have a flashbang just waiting, so fuck you guys. Ah, resing zombies. So early campaign. I need a medic. Jesus Christ! Crit through full cover and smoke grenade. I'm not amused by these clowns. Um, there's some serious shenanigans going on. Um, right. Okay. Tigularius. Probably wants to be flashbanging. I want to get Sharon up there and smash some cover up though. Really have time to be healing people right now. Um, so we can do that. Heading out. Yeah, we've got any overwatches, so. Just get this muton under control for a start. Yeah, screw it. That's good. Off message to take a shot. DS, what have you got? A mimic beacon, which you should probably consider using. Um, let's 
So we're going to do that as a safety net. Um, however, let's get a cereal on. Tegularius. And, well, he can't not kill that muton. Certainly not with a roll like that. You can't handle me. Um, so then we could take sort of a gamble and not flashbang and take those guys and get some shots. Because I'm deliberating a Joe the Doe serial moving aggressively in and doing some crazy shit. But uh, you know what? I think Joe the Doe is probably going to be hunkering. Or, in fact, just running the fuck away. Um, I don't think there's anywhere I can even put him that's safe, actually, come to think of it. Um, pop up here or something. Uh, actually, the front door and steps are right there, so no. Uh, God, Joe the Doe's going to be out for a while. Um... No, you know what? We're just going to flashbang these twats down. Fire in the hole! Get rid of that zombie. the dough, I just can't risk it. Um, not for this. It's just not worth it. Um, so I'm gonna pull right back to here. Already there. I'm not gonna burn like uh, abilities to put them on Overwatch or hunker them down, but I mean they're all gonna go for the mimic beacon, that's just how it works, but I just uh I don't know. I'm spooked now, basically. Okay, that's good. So um, I'm going to take a 50-50 and miss quite dramatically. Running try on ammo. I'll do the same again. I'm not giving up these good cover positions. I'll get him next time. My ammo's running low. Oh, I Joe the Doe. I can handle that. You can come running back if there's some kind of fucking emergency. But so far, like we're fine where we are, honestly. So, um, sixty-seven. Me, these guys don't die. We will aid protocol ourselves. And try to fucking kill something. Okay. Disorientation and 
start going for mind spins and reses, I guess. Okay, Sharon's thrown it off, that's good. Ooh, that's got a bit more dicey than I thought it would. Oh shit, high ground shot. No. Ah, it's a zombie right next to me. Fantastic, okay. Well, I don't, it doesn't massively bother me. Uh, also, you've, you've strayed into the danger zone. Um, so... Let's assume that that sectoid's going to be dead next turn. Sure thing. And get on the train to Flank City. Well, it's not the crit I was hoping for. And we've just got to go into full murder mode now. Really? On my way. 73. Misses again. Fuck me. Negative damage. Okay, it's getting a bit sketchy now. Spent. Tom DS, can you make anything happen? Um, maybe I should use threat assessment on Sharon to stop this guy where he is. Um, Set them up, knock them down. Run and gun. Ten four. Put him down. Now, Joe the Do is untouchable, so I don't have to worry about him. You know that was good. Uh, take Hilarious. Let's do this. Get out here and take a pot shot. Good grief. It's fine though, because we do some more damage. This fucker's on two health. Ammo. So what we can now do is give Sharon a threat assessment overwatch. Uh, so she can put an end to this guy's shenanigans since he tries to move or shoot or do literally fucking anything. Overwatch. And overwatch ourselves. So what's it gonna be? We're gonna run it. MDS misses. Sharon does not. And that is how it's done. <laughs> That's right. Status confirmed. All hostiles are down and the area is secure. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Ooh, Joe the Dirt's gonna be in the sick bay for so, so long. Fucking berserk. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> yeah, he's a monster. He's a very, very badly wounded monster. Operation Dragon Wheel. Not the operation I was expecting to do today, but, um... Done it, we have. That's a pretty lousy shot percentage, though we did take a lot of, uh, sort of, I don't know, saturate the fire, the target with fire kind of shots, rather than carefully trying to get positions. It sort of just became a case of, I have six people to throw, or five people to throw bullets at you with, I will hit you eventually. What's the damage then? Eight days. Um, somehow off message is wounded more. I don't know how that's even possible. Um, weird. Weird XCOM 2 mechanics. Uh, still, that's not bad. Uh, Superior Auto is good. PCS is good. Tigan's face is still fucked up. Okay. Uh, I thought I... did I put them back? 
I must have put them back. I can't remember. I could swear I remember unstaffing Elizabeth Evans and putting her on this. Out of interest. How long's left on this? 90 days. Huh. That's weird. Well, we need that staffed, so go in there. But I am confused. Oh, did I do that at the end of last episode? So it hasn't... No, time has still passed. I'm confused. Oh well. Um, yeah, I don't know what's happened there. That's a bit it's strange. It's dark, it's dank, and it's mostly metal. This ship isn't all that different from the old base. Just give the word and I'll get started, Commander. Okay. Uh, the armory wants us to do missions, doesn't it? It's the spark? Yeah, it's the spark. Okay, well, we don't have to worry about that for about a month. Uh, okay. Duh. Sort of need... Oh, God. Sort of need another engineer, don't we, really? Um, I might start working on that. We have, we have fig again yet because that's really what we need. No, we've got a day. Um, uh, four days for Azimuth, eight days for Joe. Fucking hell! Just being strung along by waiting for people to get better. Um, let's. Can we get the sixth? spot yet? Yes, finally. Okay. Um, I do really want that actually. Five supplies for sure. Just to be able to have that chance of saving people. Five supplies. Let's go sell something. Avenger plotting new course. Is open. Let's sell. Um, do I want another repeater? I probably don't. It's selling for a good rate. And I uh, don't think I need it, actually. Well, I'll keep it just in case. Uh, yeah, sell another sectoid script. Okay. finally get to stay with me, which is going to be helpful if someone does finally get uh, nailed down by crits through full cover, say, you know, three times in a row instead of twice. Um, right, fucking hell, we sort of need another engineer, and I sort of need everyone back on their feet Avenger plotting new course. in order to do the forge mission, so annoyingly I'm going to have to postpone it again. message coming through, Commander. Putting it on screen now. I had high hopes for the resistance under your leadership, Commander. And you have outdone yourself. Okay. We've done good. We've got a whole load of money. Uh, well, we've got to go for the major breakthrough. It almost doesn't matter what this other thing is, and we're short on intel, so I'm not even going to research it. I'm not even going to reveal it. We're just going to shut down this major breakthrough when it comes through. Um Yeah, Avenger gotta go and get the supplies. Okay, that's good. check to see if Scully Delight's available for recruitment. No, where are you? Oh, 
Where is that man? I just don't know. I don't know what the game's done with him. He's not at the HQ either, as I checked the names. Ah well. Um, another time. So. Back to the stockade, get an engineer. Avenger plotting new course. Too badly need an engineer. Oh god. Oh god, of course there's another thing. Ah, AT Intel. We need that. Archon Sectoid, Advanced Officer, Shield Bearer, Trooper, Heavy Lancer, Muton, fucking hell. Okay. Uh, Setting course for Sector 10, Eastern United States. Who's up for this mission? Because Joe the Doe isn't, and that's a bit scary. Oop, but we can bring a sixth, so that helps. Um, and it's difficult, not very difficult, so you know, it's not absolute hell. Which helps as well. Um, uh, Joe, one day away. Well, I can always bring another ranger. I think it's important to have at least one ranger on this job. So uh, I guess we'll start training up Woodrow, who took Blade Master. Oh, she doesn't have it yet. She's uh, only squatty. Okay. Um, this is uh, my friend that just got married, so it seems like as good a time as any to uh, send them towards horrible alien death. Um, we could throw some upgrades on, just for the sake of stuff. At least an autoloader to help would be a good idea, maybe. We'll see. Some mobility. Yeah, I don't know. We'll see. Um, anyway, that will be a problem for next time. Uh, so, eventually, we'll, uh, we'll get to that forge mission, but not today. Um, join me next time for Oppression Ghost Hammer. Thank you for watching, and uh, I'll see you later.